pros and gems welcome back to our channel i am so excited you guys are joining me for yet another video i hope you all are safe i hope you all are doing well i am sending out prayers positive energy and vibrations to those of you near and far for those of you who are going through i hope you guys eventually make it safely through whatever it is that you may or may have been experiencing and going through if you're new to my channel welcome be sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified of future videos this video we'll be talking about this iron sent by Duvall they sent me out a second uh, curling iron this is a review of their what is this desire professional uh, flat iron series and I'm gonna be reviewing this for you guys so make sure I get the whole box in the screen so this is just how the packaging look I really wanted the pink one initially when they sent me out the first one which I did do a how to flat iron hair video it was the impulse which I have used since then I just haven't got around to doing an actual video on this one but I may go ahead and compare them in this video but so far this is the one that they sent me and I'm going to open it up so you guys, this one just slides down like that. And it comes packaged like so. I've already opened it again and used it. So when you open it up, it does look like so. So I really like the sleek color that it actually has on it. So let me see. If I hold it. Yeah, like that. So if you look at it like this, you can see how it fits neatly in the packaging um and that's that it does come with instructions on how to use it so just like the first one except this one it folds out kind of like a poly pocket fold uh pantalet and so it just opens up like that and then the instructions on the back right when you open it up in the front it tells you the type of uh flat iron that you have and it does have operation instruction safety guide at the bottom that says that this type of flat iron is you know uniquely created as all of their um, flat irons are and each styling product is um, designed different and it doesn't mean that it will always work for a certain type of hair so they advise you to um, at the caution area they advise you to like test it on your hair and see how it is that you guys like it I did use a different type of shampoo and conditioner which I'll be reviewing in the next video well not the very next video but the video after the other videos that I told you guys that I will be reviewing and tell you guys how I like it but the word of caution at the bottom says this styling product does get really hot and it may not be appropriate for your hair type. And it says, um, if burn occurs on or iron is too hot, discontinue to use immediately. It does, just like the last one, tell you how hot it should get according to your hair type. So for fragile, fine, and chemically processed hair, they don't want you to go above 270. For normal to easy to straighten hair, they want you to go anywhere between 320 to 360. And for really thick, coarse hair that's really, really hard to flat iron, they advise you going from 410 to 450, which that would not be my hair. So I don't need to turn the volume up. And that is the instructional manual for the Desire series. All of the links to purchase and to get discounts and all the other deets as well as links to the website will be down in the description box so please 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 be sure to check out the description box so that you may be able to um retrieve those benefits and get linked to the site so again this is just how the flat iron looks like so and i really really like the little sleek design that it has i'm not sure if this um color wears over time I know based off using it the first time that I have used it, that I may not be using this a lot. So I might not lose any color because I just don't plan on using it as much based off my first experience, my initial experience with it. But I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and let you guys see how long it takes to get hot. Before I do that, it does come with a standard plug, which does have a caution badge at the bottom, as do all of their flat irons. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in so I can start getting hot. So I got that plugged in. When it plugs in, the red light comes on. Well, let me let you guys see. With it off, the light goes off. When you plug it in, the red light comes on. And then what I do like about it is that it has on and off um, switch that you can do it right there. So even if you're done and you don't feel like unplugging it, you still have the convenience while it's plugged to turn it off. What I did not like about it was that it just has 450 all the way at the top, but it doesn't tell you what the rest of the numbers are. So I don't know if how you're supposed to tell. And I think that the reason why I had a bad experience is because I didn't have it. Uh, well, I ain't going to really say a bad experience, but I didn't have the best experience with it. The first time I used it was because I didn't have the nozzle turned up enough. And so 450, and then I think I had it really low as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up just a bit and make sure everything is on and working. Again, I just love the color. So I'm going to sit that right there until it gets hot. Oh, another thing is that it does have a swivel cord like the last one, and it does have a ring. So if you have a uh, flat iron outlet, well, ring, well, hook, you can hang it on that. Or you can sit it flat, and it does actually stay sitting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flat iron one side of my hair. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull out their impulse flat iron and let you guys see how that performs as well. Again, I did already do a video on the impulse. So if you wanna see like the deets on it and how it's built and all that, you can check out the video. I'll leave it linked below, but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in. And what I like about this one, which I said I wasn't gonna review this one, you guys can watch previous video, but I'm gonna let you, let you see. On the professional one, you got all the outlets on it. You could tell which degree it is. And then if you wanna switch the eyes, you could just, press it like that and then if you go all the way up to how you'll turn it off so that's the turn on the lowest the second from the lowest which is 320 that's mine and this one heats up real fast but I really really like this one so this one is how this one looks and that is the impulse again I did do a video review on that one already so and this one even though it does have a swivel cord it doesn't have the um, little hook like the desire series does but it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead to take down a side, one side of my hair so that I can um, flat iron it. I have already freshly washed my hair and um, used some, what did I put on my hair? I put some, what is that, uh, wrapping mousse on my hair. So that's my heat that's serving as my heat protectant and I just put my hair in four sections I really don't want to um I don't want to um fly iron my whole head because I do plan on putting crochet in my hair next because I have another product to review for that crochet so I'm just gonna do one side of my hair just to let you guys see how both um, products curl and see how both flat irons work and that'll be that so I'm just going to take one section of my hair put that piece out of the way and again I already have heat protecting on my hair so I don't have to go through that phase again and I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with the pink one the desire series one so you guys can actually see how it uh curls like i said the first time i'm gonna test it i like to test my irons like that and from from that for me because i've been flat under my half for so long i can kind of tell when it's ready and i'll just let you guys see how it um actually works now my first experience was it it felt like it was dragging on my hair so let me see if it drags this time around Oh, it doesn't do it this time. So that's what it was. I didn't have it up high enough. So I don't really like doing so many passes on my hair, but because I know the heat protectant I'm using is bomb, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So 
that's how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and go through another piece. So I think all in all, I really do like the Desire Flat Iron. And it actually was the simple fact that I did have um, it on a lower setting. And that's only because it doesn't have the actual, it only has one number, the highest temperature, which is 450. So that you know that the higher you go, the highest you can go with this flat iron is 450. And, okay, so now it's gliding on my hair before it was when i tried it the first time it was snagging and it wasn't gliding through as um much as i liked i would have liked it to and yeah so i like it I like it. I like it a lot better now that I tried it out. So at first I wasn't going to do a video on this. I was just going to tell you guys my experience. And then something just said, do a second video and just talk about it. And I'm glad I did that. So this is the second. Well, this is the first video. This is the second attempt with it. And uh, I'm glad I did that. And I did try different types of uh, hair products, wash condition, deep condition, and heat protectant. So that may have played a part. Again, I will do a, um, I will do a, and my hair is on, on pit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my hair is on pit length. My hair has grew so much since I have been doing um, the protective style and crochet. And I have been doing a mask with my hair as well with the uh, I'll get into that in another video but I have really been doing a uh well I ain't gonna really say a lot I'm not going to say I've been doing a lot I have been doing less but I have been doing different techniques to get my hair to um get out of that uh stale state which where you know how you guys your hair grow a certain length and then it'll just stop so I've been doing trying some other things out and I'm going to get into that in another video and tell you guys what it is that I have actually been doing so that you guys can see how I've been retaining length and things of that nature. And I can tell y'all guys, one, one, one of the things that I have been doing is um, protective styling. So you guys see that in the video. So I'm going to go from the crochet and then I still did put a relaxer. Again, my hair is on pin. Well, it's probably past armpit lift my hair is probably yeah underneath um because i think armpit lift is like right here and then my hair comes i don't know i can't stand up because i'm in a little square area but my hair does come past armpit lift now and so what i was getting ready to say um what was i getting ready to say yeah, so I'm going to make sure I get a video up letting you guys actually see and know you don't see any smoke because, again, of the type of heat protectant that I use and I don't have any other types of products on my hair. So, yeah, I, I, I think I, <laughs> I think I, I, I think I, this might become a favorite because of the pink and I might use it in even more videos. But the first time, I don't know, maybe because, it, well, it was new out of the pack. I couldn't see the temperature and I was afraid to turn it up too, too, too high. So I just turned it up just a little bit and it kind of like sagged. So at least I kind of got the feel of what temperature my hair would, you know, ultimately be at. And like I say, guys, my hair has grown so much. And it's mostly due to um, protective styling and keeping a lot of heat out of my hair. But heat is also good for your hair. So don't get it twisted. Okay, so this is the results, which I like it. And then if I put some um, of my little um, oil serum, not oil, but serum on it to like lock in um, some shine and protect it when I want to do future touch-ups with the heat. It'll look even better. So now we're going to go in with the Duvall that I didn't try yet. And you guys are going to see the difference automatically. Because this, this iron right here don't play. <laughs> this is really a professional grade iron right here. I tell you. You can't do too many passes with this one. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. But this one is just a little bit more silkier. 
than the other one so this one is really good but this one is just a little bit more silkier so like when i really want like something really really silk and um silky like a flat wrap um what is it called a silk wrap i use the black one but when i just want to do like just a regular um curl and flat iron and i'm not really doing too much i use the pink one but i really like both of these um flat irons for my hair I have been seeing a few people do reviews on the Duvall um, um, flat iron. Uh oh. I got. Looks like I got a piece in there that I already flat ironed, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm going into a protective style after this. I just needed to get this video done for you guys so you guys can see how it works because I know somebody had left in the comment. I'm not sure if I deleted it or not, but they were saying that these flat irons are only working on Caucasian hair. No, it actually does work on black hair. So, yeah, so that is my hair and I like it. So I'm going to take another piece out for you guys so you guys can see. And so far, both of these hot irons, and I took just a bit more out instead of taking like thin pieces, I took just a bit more out. And with this one, I tend to squeeze it real tight and roll it through. And if you go real, real slow and roll it through, it'll get even silkier. And then that's how you'll kind of get like a really good silk pass with that um, impulse. Which again, I'm going to leave that link below so you guys can see how that looks. And I don't naturally wear my hair down. Um all too often i mean sometimes i would like if i'm airing it out but other than that i try to keep it in a protective style i don't know who knows i might start running my mouth on camera end up doing my whole head sitting here but yeah so so far i'm picking up a little bit more than usual chunks and flat ironing it just so you guys can really see but like i said initially i wasn't even gonna do all of this but I really want you guys to see how it curls. So you can get a really nice curl out of this. Yeah, so I like this so far. And then I'm gonna just let this one be my last one. And with this last one, last piece rather, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the Duvall desire flat iron and this is how it, i'm holding it start from the root kind of iron that out and then i go lightly the first time and then go slow that's the only thing i wasn't liking about it like the tip of it right here i don't know why but the tip right there it was kind of snagging my hair just a little like little pieces of my hair was snagging it so you see how it It was snagging it at the, but I just think I gotta grip it the right way. So, yeah. So that's my hair, guys, for ironing. That's just one side. So, come in a little bit so you guys can see. And you guys know I don't wear any weaves or anything. Like, I don't wear, like, sew-ins and clip-ins and stuff like that. I might wear, like, a ponytail or something like that and a crochet, but other types of weaves and stuff like that, I don't wear inside of my hair. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, I just want to let you guys see how um, the flat iron flat irons and give you guys okay. So, I guess you guys can 
get a comparison so you can see how one side looks flat iron side looks compared to a non flat iron side okay so this is the flat iron side and then this is the non flat iron side see how it's just a and then if you don't flat iron your hair you could still have your length and everything it just won't be as smooth so i guess when i'm done and then you can see i didn't go all the way down to my roots with the flat iron side but and fyi guys you know i am relaxed so for those of you who wanted to know um my relaxed status i am uh, relaxed but i tend to do a lot of the natural remedies to my hair and i think that's why and how i kind of gain a lot of length is because i do do a lot of um natural um styles and natural routines to my hair like protective styling um the l the what is the l OC method, the lock method with the liquid, the oil, and the cream, or more so the cream and the oil, like that. When I, especially when I'm doing protective style, so my hair don't dry out. Um, I told you guys I would bring you guys back a video review and response to re with regards to the impulse iron, and this is a professional grade. Let me make sure I turn this off. I don't want to get burned because I am done with you. <laughs> But yeah, this is a professional grade um, curling iron, and this is by far probably like the most favorite, my most favorite flat iron that I have. I do have a Chi flat iron, and I have another flat iron. I don't know. I think, yeah, I have a Chi, and I have a Revlon. I have a Chi flat iron, which is wider than this. So this is like really, really skinny, and then I have a Chi one that is a little bit wider, and then I have a Revlon a Revlon, I think it's called Revlon a Spiral um, Curling Iron. And then my newest added um, flat iron to my collection is the Desire, which is the one that I just um, did for you guys. Now, I really did like the way the Desire performed. Turn you off. And one thing, unplug them. One thing that I can say about the Desire, about the desire series is is it the pluses of this is it has this um little hook right here so if you want to hang it on something like so just be careful with the cord but yeah it will hang nice and snug and that is very sturdy it does have a swivel cord just like the impulse has and the color is so pretty i really really like the color i like the design and i liked everything about it now initially this was going to be the first iron that i was going to choose whenever i first initially went to the site but i did some reading and some research and i just kind of gravitated towards this iron which says it is the more professional line and grade but this one is also a professional grade it's just a professional grade as far as like the i believe the plating and everything is concerned i think that the styling and the luxury luxurious feel of it feels just like any other quality iron i really do like this like i say it gets extremely hot but i just don't see myself having to turn it all the way up to 450 for my hair matter of fact let me turn it down that way when i do have to turn it on again i don't have to oh it, it does have two temperatures on it i'm gonna take that back it has 450 as the highest and 140 as the lowest so i just turned it on the lowest temperature so i turned that off so when i give it to turn it on again it'll start heating up at the 140 and then i could just slowly gradually bring it up Mid, just halfway so I can get it to the desired temperature that I needed that to work So if you do pick up this iron and you do choose this one over the impulse Just know that you're gonna have to turn it up just a tad bit more to get it to glide through your hair Otherwise, it's just gonna kind of like feel like it's dragging through your hair I don't really know how to explain it any other better way, but it kind of didn't feel like smooth like a smooth guy kind of felt like it was stuck i don't know if it was the product or if, the, if it was the iron but i did go in today with different products on my hair before i flat iron my hair and i did um make sure that i um brought you guys the updated review with the impulse and trying it on my hair because i know like i said i did a dummy review 
on how to um, comb and flat iron and how to run it through your hair and the proper way to do it. And the reason why I did that is because I knew I was going to do another impromptu video with regards to just showing you guys the heated style of it. So you guys got the proper way to uh, heat style your hair and use the flat iron and then you got the actual results of how they actually work. So as far as recommendation, I recommend both of them. It just is a, it is just a matter of preference which one you prefer, whether you prefer the impulse or the desire. The desire line again comes with this pretty color. It is so pretty to me. And then the impulse, it does come with a sleek design and it does come with a masterful feel. So you feel like you're more so in a salon with this one. With this one it's almost like yeah, you got some something luxury and luxurious, but you kind uh, it's, uh, it's almost like that everyday feel so it makes you even more comfortable using it because it's just like any other ordinary flat iron that you have whereas you won't feel well depending on what types of flat irons you have I know I've never used a flat iron built like this so just the feel of it just made me feel even more professional and I felt safe with this one more than I did this one but using it again for a second time and actually bring you guys a review I can kind of say I feel kind of the same about both I really really like them both and I could see me actually um, enjoying them in future videos for you guys when I do do um, heat styling products and product reviews and techniques on using heat to grow your hair because contrary to what a lot of people say you do need heat some heat to grow your hair whether it's flat ironing or heat conditioning with hot oil treatments or sealing in certain serums and stuff that you put on your hair so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this has brought you a thoughtful review on the Duvall products. If you guys do check them out, do remember that I did just review for you the Duvall Desire Series Flat Iron that comes in the pink box. And they do have other ones. Again, it will be linked below. And I did also go back and give you guys an updated review on the Impulse. So do check both of these out. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye.